Okay, let's have a look at number nine. Number nine is um, one of those where we need to enlarge the triangle by a scale factor of two and a half with a center zero. So this is one of those uh, type of questions where um, hopefully it'll be okay on the video. I'm just going to mark in first some lines of enlargement because it just helps my calculation a little bit more. So this is going to go along like that. And then I'm just going to take the ruler and I'm going to spin it a little bit and I'm going to go through this corner here. Um, the way I describe it to my students at least is that it's a little bit like standing at the point zero one with the world's most powerful torch like the kind of Batman torch. And then what we're doing is we're going to create a shadow. Um, we're shining it onto a building and we're going to create a massive great shadow behind it. And the way to do this properly really is to use vectors. OK, so the first vector I'm going to say is if I look at the point A, which is this point here. Well, in order to get to A from 0, 1, I've gone along one jump and I haven't gone anywhere along the Y axis. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to say it's to get to A, it's going to equal to a vector of 1, 0. And then I'm going to multiply that by 2.5 because I want it 2.5 times bigger. So therefore, now my new vector will be 2.5, 0. So actually, I can go from 0, 1 again. And this time I've got one jump, two jumps, and half a jump. And that's going to put me here, which is my new point for point A. OK, let's do exactly the same then with point B, which is going to be this here. OK, now again, don't worry too much about keeping these diagrams clean and tidy. You know, you really want to make sure, maybe use pencil if you want to, but you really want to make sure that you show the examiner that you know what you're talking about. So if I go to point B, and hopefully it's not going to be too much on the screen, I'm going to go along 2, and then this time I'm going to go up 2. OK, so remember, it's always from the center of the uh, origin, uh, the, not the center of the, the center of enlargement, which in this case is going to be 0, 1. So point B is going to be a vector of 2, 2. OK, I'm going to multiply that by 2.5. So therefore, now that's going to be a vector of 5, 5. And if I go back, that's going to give me 5 jumps along. So that's all the way to here. And then it's 5 jumps upwards, and it's all the way to there. And that's going to give me point B1. OK, now if I've done my job correctly, then the new location of each of the vertices is going to be on the lines of enlargement. So it just gives me that level of kind of confidence that I'm doing the right thing. OK, let's move on then to point C, which is this one here. And that's a vector of 1, 2. OK, so point C, and hopefully you can follow this along, is going to be a vector of 1, 2. And then I'm going to multiply that by 2.5, and that's going to give my, my new location of 2.55. OK, so that's going to be along to 2.5 and up five jumps. OK, I didn't draw that line particularly well, but that's going to be my new line point C. So therefore, the enlargement itself is going to be this one. Now, again, if you're not sure, let me know, because... I'll, um, I've got some other worksheets that you can have a look at, but that would be the enlargement of the triangle.